Welcome to Pitkins. All is quiet now. There was a day, however, when it got rather noisy. You see, I had been trying out thunder machines. Pig had been trying out thunder machines. A thunder machine could make the sound of thunder. That was distant thunder. That means the thunder's a long way off. A sort of growl and grumble in the distance. Coming nearer. And you know, if it was really near, the noise would be so loud, you'd have to put your hands over your ears, like this. Now, don't worry. I won't. I shouldn't touch it, really. All this junk belongs to Pig, you know. <laughs> Any old iron, any old iron, any, any, any old iron. You look neat, talk about a treat. You look dapper from your nappy to your feet. Dressed in style, brand new tile, and your father's old green tie on. Oh, I wouldn't give you tuppence for your old watch chain. Old iron, old iron. La 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 da, da la la da, 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 da. Old iron. Have you done? Oh, hello, tortoise. I didn't see you there. I've just arrived. I bring a message from Hartley Hare. Uh, for me or for Peak? Well, for both of you. The message is Hartley is trying to think. He'd like some peace and quiet, please. Oh, fair enough, Tortoise. Pig's up in the kitchen. I'll go and tell him now. Coming from the kitchen, Tortoise could hear a sort of thump, thump, thump. this downstairs. Cymbals, bongos, big bass drum. How do I get this lot in my cellar without making a pig sty of the place? He's full of junk already. Yes, yes, but you can't drum here. Hartley wants some peace and quiet. Hartley is in his bedroom and that is right at the top of the house. He won't hear much from there. My drumming won't sound loud that far away. Oh, all right then. But don't go mad. Mm. Tortoise had reached the kitchen. Come on, get with it, Tortoise. Let's see you rock and roll. Well, I could, you know. I can. But I'm taking the news up to the bedroom. So, Tortoise went on up. Hartley was in bed. He was writing down the words of a song. He wanted to learn the words by heart. Uh, have you ever tried learning something? Well, say like a nursery rhyme. Well, you can soon get very muddled, especially if there's a rumpus round you. Well, that's why I'm in bed, you see. No, not because I'm ill, oh no, no. I came to get away from all that noise, from all those rowdy people. Ah, my messenger, at last. Tortoise had reached the bedroom. A tortoise, pray, what is the news of all the noise? No more grumbly thunder. Good. Oh, but I'm afraid there's something else. If you listen, Hartley. Ah, I hear a sort of thud, thud, thud. That is the sound of distant drums. The sound of distant drums? Pig is at his bongos, his cymbals, and his big bass drum. Pig has parked his drum kit in the kitchen. The kitchen? But that's right next door to my office. Tortoise, I can't have that. The noise must be appalling. Yeah, you're not in your office. Well, that's true. I must go there at once. But, 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 but what about learning the words of your song? My dear Tortoise, just look. My book. Whoop. My book slips off my bumpy knees. I get ink on the sheets. And, oh, no, 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 no. They may have driven me up here. But where should I be writing, eh? Yes, downstairs at my desk. Downstairs in my office. Oi! Are you talking to me? Yes, I am talking to you, 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 you demon drummer. You wizard of the symbol pig. Oh, Tom. Come on, let Hartley speak. 
Oh, oh, um, yes. Well, uh, I just wanted to say this. Don't think that you've driven me upstairs because you haven't. I've come down now and I'm going to learn my song in here. So, shh. Thank you very much. <laughs> Hartley felt pleased with himself. Right, that has decided it. That's enough. Sorry, Hartley, old son. We're moving my gear to the cellar. And half of it fell down the cellar steps. <laughs> Pig thought Hartley was hiding. Hmm, all right. Sulk then. I don't care. Pretend you can't hear me. <laughs> but Hartley really couldn't hear. He tied a scarf tight round his ears. He didn't want to hear the noise of Pipkins. He wanted to think clearly. I can think about learning the words to my song now. It's quiet all the time like this. For Hartley, it was quiet all the time. He couldn't tell when the noise stopped. when the kitchen started to be quiet. And later, when Uncle Hare rang up, Hartley didn't know the phone was ringing. Oh, Hartley, I know you're busy, but you still could answer the phone. Hello? Oh, Uncle Hare. Yes, yes, just a minute. Oh, now I see why you didn't answer the phone. Yeah, but, but what are you doing? What are you doing with my scarf? Your uncle wants to speak to you. But uncle isn't here, is he? No, no, but he's on the phone. It was ringing, but you didn't hear it because you had this round your ears. Now, look, I had to have that round my ears because you were making so much noise. No, we've been quiet for ages now, Hartley. Well, how was I to do that? You would have known if you hadn't been wearing this scarf. But I'm trying to learn the words of a song, and I don't want to be bothered with noises, like, like, well, like the telephone, for instance. Yes, but, Hartley, the phone's in your office. If you're sitting in here and the phone rings, you're bound to hear it, aren't you? You know, Thomas, you're right. I shall have to go somewhere else. I can't be in the same room as the phone. I will have to move somewhere else. But, but Hartley... Uncle was tired of waiting. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. My nephew Hartley must be busy. Maybe I'll ring him later on. Hartley was busy. He was trying to learn the words of a song. He sat out in the yard where it was quiet. Clumpity clump, clump, clump. I beg your pardon? Your feet, Thomas, your noisy feet. Oh, why don't you try walking on your hands? Perhaps that would be quieter. I'm sorry. I walk on my feet. People walk this way up. This is your head. It's good for shaking. These are your arms. They're good for waving. These are your legs for walking up and down. These are your eyes. They're good for looking. This is your nose. It's good for sniffing. These are your fingers for waving at me or to stick in your ears when I'm singing this song. Much too loud. I don't believe it. You sang that deliberately loud. Oh, nonsense, Hartley. It's all part of the song. He did it on purpose. Hartley, the words of the song meant that I had to sing it loudly. Well, I'm glad you know the words of your song, Thomas. I certainly don't know the words of mine. I'm going off. I'm going off to learn them. And I'm going off to get some peace and quiet. <laughs> Silence. Yes. I like a bit of silence now and then. We all need a bit of quiet sometimes, Pig. Maybe, maybe we should have a quiet time. A special time at Pipkins, when everybody has to hush. I like that idea, Pig. It'd make Hartley happy. Pig, 
Let's go and find him. Let's tell him your idea and see if that won't bring him back. Pig spotted Hartley first. What are you doing of? Oh, no, not again. Excuse me. Excuse me, my dear sir. Would you mind taking your shoes off, please? Well, really, they are clumpy shoes. Hartley? Oh, you're here, are you? Yes. Hmm. We've come to take you home. So that you can have a quiet time at Pipkins. At Pipkins? A quiet time at Pipkins? A quiet time at Pipkins. A quiet time at Pipkins, when all the house is at peace and quiet, and very sweet it is too. Wake up, everybody. It's Uncle Hare here. <laughs> and it's... Time for me to say hello to my nephew. I couldn't get him on the phone, so I've come here myself. Uncle, I'm glad you're here because I've got a song to sing you. I've learned the words, you see. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a hen, E-I-E-I-O. With a cluck cluck here and a cluck cluck there. Here a cluck, there a cluck, everywhere a cluck cluck. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. See, I've learned the words, and I've learned the words to another verse. More animals. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a cow, E-I-E-I-O. With a moo-moo here, moo-moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo-moo. Cluck, cluck here and a cluck, cluck there, here a cluck, there a cluck, everywhere a cluck, cluck. Oh, Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Do you know any more? Yes, I know the words about a big woolly animal. Sheep! Mm. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had some sheep, E-I-E-I-O. With a meh meh here and a meh meh there. Here a meh, there a meh, everywhere a meh meh. Moo moo here and a moo moo there. Here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo moo. Cluck cluck here and a cluck cluck there. Here a cluck, there a cluck, everywhere a cluck cluck. Old, Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Bravo! Bravo! Hooray! <laughs>